a young artist with a serious health condition has just been awarded a grant to take his work to the next level. He's a metal sculptor who takes old metal junk and turns it into amazing art. Matt met him to find out how he does it. Inside this shed, rusty old car parts are being transformed into something new. Flynn's 15 and he uses recycled metal parts to create works of art. When I see old car parts lying around, I don't like them going to waste. It's such a beautiful shape and a good material and it'd just be a shame if it all went to waste. So I really like to use that, it's great material. Flynn's got a serious health condition and there are some things he can't do, like sport, but it led him to giving metal work a try. I have an underlying heart condition called primary pulmonary hypertension. And um, what that does is it's putting a lot of pressure on my right side of my lungs and, and heart. So that in turn makes everything work a little harder so I can't be involved in any physical sports. So this is a good alternative to me. So while other kids were doing PE, Flynn used that time to create sculptures. The special ed teacher there had studied engineering. So we got together and we decided to make a sculpture out of old car parts. And he's been hooked ever since. Because I just like metal, I love engines, anything that rolls, bangs and explodes really. For Flynn, it all starts with finding the right parts, with a bit of help from mum and dad. We go out and we find car parts and motorbike parts and uh, we then bring them back here and clean them. I then plan out what sculpture I'm going to make in my head. I then maybe research it a little bit and uh, I start the first part and then it's all sticking it together from there. Once he's chosen the parts he needs, he uses an angle grinder to clean up the rusted bits and then welds it all together piece by piece. This was Flynn's very first sculpture, a fisherman. Flynn, this is pretty amazing, but where where do you get your ideas from? How do you how do you go and see a car and go, yep, I can definitely turn that into a fisherman, for instance? Well, I really I really draw to certain shapes, like um, strong lines, and uh, I collect most parts that have got a good shape and are the right materials. And then once I have that and then I start making a sculpture, if I think it really works, I'll pick out that part and that'll go on along with it. Flynn's Fisherman was such a big success, it won some awards. And since then, he's been flat out creating new pieces. I've sold a lot of my work, everything but my first piece. So I think I'd keep that because it's my first piece and it's got a place in my heart. Flynn would like to make sculpting a career, and to help him do that, an art group has given him their support and funding to buy new equipment. For now, Flynn just wants to share his art with as many people as he can. Yeah, I'd love to go on and make more stuff. I really want to go somewhere with my work and exhibit around the world, really. That'd be the dream, that'd be ideal.